Good morning, everybody. Um, it's a rainy day here in East Tennessee, and I just wanted to hop on and do a quick video because um, I thought it would be fun to showcase some things that we got at garage sales this weekend. So we went yesterday, Saturday morning. Um, this was our second garage sale outing. We did one last weekend, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And the last time we went to garage sales before that was before our kids were born, possibly. <laughs> we just haven't gone in a long time. So I wanted to show you some of the things that we picked up because we have a lot of household things that we need or want and not a lot of money um, to spend on it. So we need to get stuff on the cheap. Hi, Jody. Are you guys in the car? I would love to hear. Um, or are you not on the road yet? Um, anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and show you the first thing that we got. And I'm sorry that the lighting's not great. Okay, so underneath this is a leather couch that we bought from the previous owners. And it has a matching chair, but that's another issue. Uh, we didn't really want the leather couch. But that's kind of another story. But the short of it is we needed somewhere to sit anyway. We were very worried that our three cats would not... Oh, great. Uh, I just saw your note, Jody. That our three cats would not take well to leather. And guess what? We've been here two weeks... And, no, that's not the bad side. Over here, you will see. Oh, they are ruining it very quickly. So, I needed something to cover it. And I was looking for, we had queen um, comforters on top. And they weren't quite big enough to cover the armrest, which is what they were attacking. So, I was like, I need a king. So, I found this one for $15. Is it my favorite blend of colors? No, but look how thick it is. It's like a thick, it's quilted. And guess what? That's good for cat claws. So in an attempt to not have a completely shredded couch within three months of purchasing it, this is what we're going for. And for 15 bucks, I feel great about it. So very much needed. Now let's look at the second thing that we got. I'm so excited about. This is, I think it's an oil painting. Oh, I feel super, super ignorant about art right now, you guys. Um, looks like Italy to me, but it is original art. Now, well, that's not to say that an artist didn't necessarily replicate something, but you know what I'm saying. There's real paint on the canvas. And I liked it, but, <laughs> hi, Ruby. But what I liked even more, guys, was this, I mean, I know you can't tell by me lifting it. It is a really, like this is pretty big. It is a really nice frame and it is heavy. So to me, that means really good quality. So that even, even if later in time I decide, you know, I'm kind of not feeling this art, the frame alone is worth quite a bit. Um, and I can have something else put inside of it. And in fact, when I was inspecting it at the garage sale, I turned it around since, well, let me not break it. I turned it around and I found its price tag that um, the previous owners paid for it. $350. So it was for sale for $15. And I thought, yeah, <laughs> the frame alone is worth way, 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 way more than that. So that was an exciting find. And I really do want a lot of art on my walls. Okay, let's go on to other things that we got. Um, and by the way, if anybody else goes to garage sales, because I grew up going to garage sales, but um, I am really rusty and out of practice because it's been several years since we've been. So if anybody goes, anybody wants to share some tips, leave a comment below, help me get educated. Speaking of getting educated, now I would like to show you something that somebody gave one of my children for free and what I plan to do with it. Do you notice the large sombrero here? Um, yes, we were at a yard sale and they were like, hey kid, do you want this sombrero that we brought back from Cancun and now realize we don't really want? And of course my daughter was like, that is the most beautiful hat in the history of life, of course I want it. And I was like, cool, but cultural appropriation, perhaps? Maybe we need to be careful? I'm realizing I actually don't know a lot about sombreros. And so I'm realizing, hey, okay, fine. Cool educational opportunity. So 
my kids and I are going to do some learning so that we understand what this is intended for, why it exists, and don't just simply play with it. So that's next. Okay. I'm going to turn you back around for the next part. Okay. The next couple things um, were kids were things that my kids got. So Dara scooped up two Beanie Boo-esque loveys. If you know me at all, you know that my kids are obsessed. So we got this little dude. So it's all about these sparkly eyes. Like that's, that's the business right there. He was 25 cents. Irresistible. And my kids do bring their own money so that I don't have to pay for this. Now, this guy is not a Beanie Boo, but she liked the rainbow eyes, and she liked that he sparkled, and she declared that, okay, he can be part of the crew. I dig it. 25 cents. So she got two of those for 50 cents. So she was very excited. She knows how much a Beanie Boo costs in the stores. Six bucks. Um, so she was like, oh, man, garage sales are awesome. And I'm like, exactly. Now, Leia... In my opinion, Leia had a lesson to learn, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Leia just got exactly what she wanted, and she was fine with it. Leia likes to be called Leia the Lion. I used to call her Leia Bug, so like a ladybug. But she asked me about a year ago, directly, could you please start calling me Leia the Lion? Sure. All right. So, she found this lion. It's one of those Coles Cares animals. You know how Coles always has certain kinds of stuffed animals that are for sale for five bucks, which is a great deal for a nice sized stuffed animal. That's what this is. And it does still have its tag on it, but in my opinion, it looks either played with or just a little dirty. It, does, it doesn't look brand spanking new. So Leia went to the lady at this garage sale and asked how much it was, and the lady said $3. Now, in my opinion, I think that's entirely too much <laughs> for a stuffed animal. <laughs> just my opinion. And I shared that with Leia. I said, okay, Leia, brand new in the store. This was $5, so it's less than half, it's more than, it's, excuse me, it's less than half price off. Does that make sense? Um, and I said, I really think you can find a better deal. And she's like, no, 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 I want this, I want this. And I was like, okay, you know what? It's your money, it's your choice. So she bought this lion for $3, hugged it in the car at the very next, very next garage sale that we went to. There was a Thai lion. It wasn't a Beanie Boo, but it was Thai brand. It still had its tag. It was like this glorious yellow with this like flaming orange and red mane. Like it was beautiful. And it was 50 cents. Guess what? She spent her money. Now, Leia has a lot of pride. Hence the lion. But I showed it to her and I said, now I just want you to know that this one's only 50 cents. And she looked at it and then sort of set up and said, I already got my lion. Maybe she's thrilled with her choice or maybe <laughs> it was prideful and maybe it was a learning moment. But either way, let me tell you something. This has been sitting on the floor of the living room ever since we got home. Meaning she walked in the front door, she threw the lion down and she hasn't touched it since. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But you know what? We gotta let kids learn their lessons. I mean, her $3 is gone. So when she doesn't have as much next week, to go shopping with, maybe she'll think about it. Just two more things that I got. Um, I was able to score two Hannah Anderson dresses for Dara, which will then get passed on to Leia. It's a great brand of clothing that wears really, really well. Um, and it's pretty pricey. So, and I think th these two are in really, really good shape. So I was able to get this. It's like a twirly dress. They were five bucks each. And I was able to get this Hannah Anderson dress. Dee, 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 dee. So they're really simple. They'll be great for summer if sweet little Dara can fit into them. I think they're size eights and she'll be nine um, in August, but ooh, eights are a stretch for her sometimes. Um, so anyway, so those were some of the cool things that I picked up. Um, what are you guys shopping for at yard sales? We are shopping for furniture, but we do, we're not on our A game because let me tell you, what we're doing is we're showing up on time or like 20 or 30 minutes after garage sales start. And people are like, yeah, people snagged all the furniture because they showed up an hour before we even opened. <sighs> I remember from back in the day um, when my parents would take me to garage sales that early birds, well, they got the worm. like they And they were chronic. I think where I grew up, people would start showing up at like 6 in the morning. But um, I was sort of hoping that maybe the new generation would like come to their senses and like go, go at the start time. Like, but no. So I guess... I guess we're going to have to 
start getting up earlier if we want to actually get some furniture. So that's what I got. Let me know what you think. I hope you all are having a great day.